Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP specialized in SharePoint. In this video, we are going to see how we can block or delete user in Office 365. In my previous videos, I have explained how we can sign up for an Office 365 trial as well as how we can add uh, a user into Office 365, how we can assign li license to this uh, Office 365 user. So a lot of uh, Office 365 videos I have already explained. I'll put those links in the comment section of the video. I will, uh, it will be really great uh, if you'll check out those videos before coming to this video. Now let's get started. I'll open my browser. Okay, meanwhile, if you want to learn SharePoint quickly, then I have a SharePoint training courses. So you can check out these training courses. These are courses for the developers as well as for the site owners or the end users. So you can have a look out this, uh, these courses. I'll put the URL in the comment section of the video. Now I will open uh, my Office 365 tenant or the uh, uh, Microsoft 365 tenant so I will uh, type admin.microsoft.com and if you have not signed in then it will ask you to uh, enter your office 365 credentials and make sure you should be a part of the uh, office 365 ten tenant admin group now on this basically if you'll see here now it is loading the Microsoft 365 admin center and this is the uh, modern admin center that uh, we are checking here uh, if you are classic uh, then you you will see this option is off now I'll click on this user and then go to active users so if you'll see here in this uh, active users you will be able to see all users who are active in office 365 now so how we how we can basically uh, uh, disable the user or first we will see how we can delete the user. So if you will see here, I will select a particular user and then you can uh, click on this triple dot. You can see here there is a delete user option is coming. So once you click on delete user, you will be able to see it will tell you that in uh, the data will be there for 30 days. So if you want to restore, then you can restore that. And you can see here uh, if any uh, uh, email alias will be there those things will be removed and this is the confirmation that it will ask and then finally you can click on this delete user apart from that you can click on this uh, after selecting this user you can just click on this triple dot and then you can see here delete user you will come up with uh, the same um, um, uh, page or where you can delete the user this is the same page apart from that no need to select any user you can just click on here uh, in the command bar this uh, three dot click on that and you can see here delete a user is there click on that and then you will be having the option where it will show you all the users so you can see here if you want to delete those users you can select the users and you can uh, click on this and it will ask you that you are going to delete these two users so this will be uh, helpful if you want to delete multiple users you can see here and then click on delete so once you click on delete these two users will be deleted and uh, you will be able to see those users um, you can see here this is deleted just close it and if you'll go to the deleted users you will be able to see those two deleted users you can see here and within uh, 30 days you can actually restore this so suppose i want to uh, uh, restore the user bin then select this and you will say restore you can see here restore and it will automatically create a password uh, so it will restore the user so you can see here it is restore uh, apart from that also uh, you can go to a particular user suppose uh, i'll go to david I'll select this user and then you can see here this is the name and you have the option where is a delete icon is there if you we'll click on that you will come up with the same page where you can delete uh, the user so you can see here this is the same place and just come back here and uh, if you want to disable a user means the user will not be deleted but they cannot sign in then in that scenario you can see here there's an option which is saying block this user so if i'll click on this block this user you can see here now the user 
uh, will be blocked so I will select this and you can see here block this user from sign in that means the user will be able to uh, receive the email uh, they can the data will not get, get deleted but the user will be not able to sign in and if uh, if the user already signed in with some of the uh, system then it will automatically uh, sign out within 60 minutes so I will say save changes so that means we are blocking the user we are restricting the user from signing to the office 365 so you can see here it will just take some time so where it will save everything so you can see here it is showing the message saying uh, this user is now blocked from sign in they will be automatically signed out from all microsoft services within 60 minutes so if anything will be there the user will be uh, blocked so now let me just refresh this page once so if you'll see here uh, now david will be you can see here this is the user so i will click again and you can see here you can clearly see a message which is saying sign in is blocked that means the user will not be able to sign in now how we can sign in back so you can just click that icon again and uh, it will show the same screen i'll just uncheck it so uh, if you will uncheck it and then click on save changes so it will just take around 15 minutes but it usually uh, uh, happens before that so you can see here I'll click on save changes so once you will click on save changes the user will be unblocked so that means the user can sign in now you can see here it is unblocked and uh, up to 15 minutes uh, uh, within that after that the user will be able to sign in to office 365 not only just SharePoint they can uh, uh, sign in to any of the uh, uh, services now if you uh, like uh, the videos this is our uh, uh, social handles first of all subscribe to the YouTube channel you will get a lot of videos on SharePoint most of the Microsoft technologies you will get on SharePoint power apps flu uh, power BI or SPFX and uh, also Azure videos so those kind of things videos you will get update on that and these are the website or website enjoy SharePoint.com or SharePoint sky.com these are our Twitter handles and LinkedIn Facebook pages so uh, follow those pages you'll get update on every tutorial and uh, thank you and have a nice day